All right, single board computer, la potato, digirig, and the Baofeng UV5R. All right, this is a little project uh, inspired by uh, KM6LYW, uh, who makes the DigiPi, basically taking a, uh, um, a Raspberry Pi and putting like every digital mode uh, you can think of on it. The only problem with that project is you can't find Raspberry Pis right now. They're impossible. This is May of 2023. They're supposed to have had the supply chain figured out this year, but you still can't find them anywhere. So the cheapest Pi Zero that should be 10 bucks is still sometimes a hundred bucks. I'm not going to do that. This is a um, La Potato and um, single board computer available on Amazon for 30 bucks. So I said, well, let me see if I can figure out how to make it work on, on this. So this is phase one. Uh, we're gonna make an APRS, uh, iGate, uh, and Digipeter. Okay, here you see it set up. You got the uh, Baofeng receiving signals on 144390. Uh, going through the Digirig, and into the Le Potato um, running Dire Wolf. You could see uh, up on the screen I did SSH into it. And you could see it decoding. Those are the signals that's coming in. You see here, oh, here's an output. So that one I transmitted. So I picked up a, a signal and then retransmitted it. So digipeated uh, there. Um, I do pulse out, I uh, don't see it on here, but uh, I only send a beacon maybe every hour uh, over the air. But uh, since it's on the internet, I do uh, beacon on the eye gate as well. So this is uh, APRS Droid on a little tablet. And you can see the uh, everything that it's um, receiving here. You can see the actual messages received and like on the map, you know, I think everybody's seen this. These are the signals that I've picked up so far. It's pretty early in the morning. I don't know if anybody's out there, a couple cars driving around, um, but that's it. And if I want, I can uh, send a message from here. I'll just send a message here. And uh, there it goes, oop, did you see that? Transmit, I'll do that one more time. I'll send a, send a position message now, and there it goes. Out it goes, so pretty cool. Um, just the connectivity, everything. Again, Direwolf is the magic here. Um, it's got a lot of configuration, a lot of really good documentation online. I think it's a really fun project for a weekend. If somebody wants to hack, um, you get to learn Linux, because it's all, that's running under Linux. I don't know if you can run that under Windows, but this, uh, Lit Potato runs, uh, I have it running Raspbian, which is the operating system that uh, the Raspberry Pi is using. See, one thing that I did run into, because this thing is chugging on audio and decoding a, a lot, you know, it's constantly running, the little chip in there got really hot, so I do, uh, I did have to put a fan in, because what I found out is, all of a sudden it stopped decoding, and once that chip gets above a certain temperature, it throttles and it goes down to like a hundred megahertz um, operating clock. And so it's too slow to decode any of the auto signals. So everything just uh, started getting errors and, and whatnot. I did find a, a note on the web, put the uh, fan in there and now it runs, it runs great. Um, even when it heats up outside or warm in the shack, it still operates pretty good, just a little, Five volt fan running off there, so it will uh, consume a little more uh, current. That's it. So this is a pretty cheap project. This is probably the most expensive thing. So right, Baofeng, twenty bucks. Um, the Digirig is the most expensive at I think fifty dollars, and then the uh, Le Potato, like I said, thirty-five. I think five dollars for the Wi-Fi key. Um, so what is that? Uh, fifty under a hundred bucks. But I think you can get it down a lot cheaper 
um, this is going to come out and I'm going to replace it with this guy. So the DigiRig has a sound card and a, like a, a serial driver, a USB to serial for cat control. I don't need cat control. So inside here, I think it's a CM108. This is a CM108 chip on a USB key. And I'm going to take off the input and output and rewire it with push to talk. And I'm going to um, configure it so that it uses a single connector just like the DigiRig. So I'll use the same cable, but uh, that's the plan. These are like $8. So with that, you can get down under $60 for, for everything. I am thinking of boxing this all up um, and putting its own antenna on it and throwing it up on the, the roof and seeing how long it lasts with a little solar panel and battery. So that'll be the final implementation of the project. But phase one, working with the DigiRig, it's probably the simplest way to go right now, but as I said, uh, a little more expensive because of the DigiRig that I already had. But uh, I think once you get this in, we'll get it down a little cheaper. That's the hack for today. We'll see ya.